want to drive? Yeah, I want to drive. Just stay in the middle. I know. Did you know that Cato is actually 25,000 football fields big? Hey, it's been a while. You feel guilty about the accident? She's your mom, but it wasn't your fault. She hadn't had a seizure in six years. I'm not related to any of these people. You're my daughter, so you are a part of this family, okay? Dear Jesus, Eric, and you've been testing us with this drought here. But uh, we know there's many folks struggling in ways uh, greater than ours. What are you doing? Man, why you gotta be such a scaredy guy? She's been gone. We're gonna search the whole lake. Anna! Anna! Either somebody's taken her or she's hurt. I can feel my mom out there. Anna, where are you? Got a positive ID on Anna Bennett's boat. Her life jacket's gone. Anna! Something's happening in that part of the lake. Wolves don't live around here. It's not that they'd be that far out in the water. What if the seizures are hereditary? I never had one. Till now. This is my sister's. Tell me where you got this. Boom, there you go. That was a trailer for Cado Lake uh, streaming on Max on October 10th. I'm Kuyi P. This is Nerds Rule the World. Joining me to talk all things are the lovely couple, the the writer, director, co-writer, co-directors, Celine Held and Logan George. Thank you both so much for your time. I appreciate it. Um, as of this recording, we're entering the spooky season. It's October. And what yeah. a way to kick off the spooky season on Max on October 10th with Cado Lake. Um, and I'm very curious to start off with, because as a filmmaker creative myself, um, you both were inspired by a picture of this lake online, I believe. And then you made visits and then this film came to fruition. Uh, I just love that touch of inspiration and how like just little things can then spark creativity. Uh, can we start there on how this all kind of came together? Totally. Um, yeah, it was May, 2020. And um, I, saw a photo of Caddo Lake on Reddit and uh, it was stunning and it was arresting and it was weird. And there was just something about it that felt really um, something I'd never seen before. So I showed it to Logan. Logan was like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so we borrowed my mom's car um, in from Pittsburgh and we drove down to Texas and lived off the lake for a couple months and wrote the first really horrible draft of the script. Yeah. <laughs> But being around the locals, you know, and like we did so many boat trips out and would kayak out through the lake, you'd, you'd get lost, you know, because um, you, you just get turned around in the trees really, really easily. So all of the, like just interacting with the environment just really lent itself towards we built the script like from the ground up, just living there and being able to, you know, drink it in. I love that. Yeah, uh, I've lived down south in uh, near Swampland and just all of that environment can definitely inspire creativity. So you were down there. And as I was looking online, I was like, let me try and find this picture my, that they might have gotten inspired. I was like doing research on Cadell, Cadell Lake. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. No, um, but I saw like Bigfoot theories there, like Native yeah, American stuff awesome, there. But, How yeah. did this, so like the, the idea sparked, you started writing. How did it make its way into what we see on the screen uh, on October 10th on Max? Mm -hmm. um, well, it was COVID, right? And so I think that there, that we were kind of asking this question um, between the two of us a lot um, about our parents and how much mm -hmm. we can truly really know them, um, who they are. Uh, before uh, before we were born, especially. Yeah, my my mom died in 2019, actually. And so Celine, we were talking about it months later. Celine mentioned that 
uh, my mom had told her these stories, these memories from her life. And I was like, wait, I've never heard these stories. Like, it didn't even sound like my mom. And I was like, this is how did I never hear this? And so it brought up this notion of like, how well can you know your parents who've lived this whole life before they gave birth to you? And so even like um, borrowing my mom's car, we couldn't say hi to my parents. <laughs> and so I think that, they, you know, they're behind glass. There's this thing of like family that felt very separate all of a sudden, this thing that we reject so much, oh, I don't want to go home for the holidays and all this stuff. And then suddenly when it's it's taken away from you, um, that's all you want. And so we wrote this story in, a bit in response to those, uh, to those ideas. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's crazy how the pandemic was so terrible for a lot of us, but it became such an inspiration for us as creatives. Uh, I just love all of that. That's amazing. Um, so... When I watched it, I was like intrigued how you utilize this swamp area. And I'm not going to spoil, but this area became a device for this story to then twist into reaching out to all these other parts. Uh, I think I kind of did my good thing there by not giving away too much. Um, well done. Um, let's talk about the amazing cast that has to pull this off because we're going to focus on a family throughout this film and they're, they're the things that happen with them. Uh, can we talk about Dylan O'Brien, Elizabeth Scanlon, your cast that you uh, put together to uh, for us to follow uh, as an audience? Dylan and Eliza are um, amazing <laughs> team players. We were in waders, like 80% of the yeah. shoot. We were in mud. They learned, they came out two weeks before, learned how to drive boats, um, met so many of the locals, some people that inspired us when we were writing the film. Um, and they were just down, which is way more than you can ask of your cast. I mean, yeah, it was, uh, they literally lived in cabins off the lake for the, for the entirety of the shoot. And so much of the film rests on their shoulders. These like, you know, ultimately solo journeys that they're going on. So we're asking a lot of them. It's not, it's not just physical. They're like the emotional core of the story. And then we just feel so lucky that, you know, we had so much to work with in terms of how much they gave us every day on set but that wasn't an issue at all. Like so the emotion of the film comes through in flying colors, you know? And they delivered some great performances, well cast. I have to ask you on the filmmaking front, throwing back that filmmaker hat on my head. Um, you, I, I was reading also, you both shoot a lot together. Like one of you records while the other does sound. What was it like filming in the swamp? Like that part of me was like, uh, we're gonna be filming there. Uh, no, thank you. I'll pass on this gig. <laughs> what was it like filming in the swamp? Um, so when we wrote the film, we, it was summer. And so the mosquitoes were out full force. And yeah. so we made sure that we shot in the fall. So it's actually not as, as bad as it could have been, um, for a lot of the bug parts of it. And we never saw an alligator all together. We were there, Logan and I probably there eight months. Um, and we never saw an alligator. So yeah. I don't know. They, they're, they're more scared of you than you're scared of them. But like in terms of crew and equipment, you are literally walking through mud and like the crew is like churning the mud up because you're walking back. So we made like mud baths of like these areas. Your location would sort of like recede into the water after a couple of days of working on it. Which is awful. You like you literally can't shoot here anymore. You're like, I guess we got. Yeah, that I guess we got to like shift a whole 20 feet this way and film like it was pretty wild how much we had to improvise just because of the your subject to the weather you know so much of the films outside so much is on water you really behold into the film gods of weather and uh, I think we got really lucky but had the most incredible down crew and cast were so thankful really awesome any pro tips for us fellow filmmakers I have a lot of filmmaker friends that watch what I do uh, anything that you're going to take the next time you shoot in the swamp area what would be your number one pro tip Gosh, just you just have to be very calculated about what you need. You know, with these boats, small little pathways, you have to build the most stripped down version of what, you know, you want to shoot with um, because you should focus on the story and not try to, like, you know, bring a crane into the middle of the lake. Also, go for, like, the waders that cost $10 more. Yeah. There's nothing worse than a hole in your waders and then filling with water. Yeah, you can splurge like, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Um, M. Night Shyamalan. We all know the legend that is M. Night Shyamalan. What was it like getting him involved in helping produce this film? Night is, uh, we could not have asked for a more supportive um, member of our team. He let us take the reins. He let us, he really let us write and direct um, this film. Um, but he watched every daily. He um, was 
a hundred percent there as far as like making, making sure that we felt like he, um, he, he'd answer the phone anytime we called. I, I don't know how else to say, like, he just became like a very close friend and, um, and was very involved in the edit, you know, like gave us hours and hours every day. We edited off of his, um, we lived in his guest house and edited next to his, oh, awesome. with her, yeah. you know, a couple months. I thought it might be process. haunted, but it was not haunted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't wait for the rest of the world to see Cadell Lake when it drops on max on October 10th, um, to close it. So what do you hope uh, people take away from Cadeau Lake? And I'm taking away that you guys are amazing. I, I enjoyed myself and I'm looking, I'm looking forward to seeing some of your past catalog and seeing what you're going to do next. I just want to throw that at you real quick. But what do you Thank hope you. people take away from it? Uh, honestly, you know, it's, we hope you feel like you've been on a ride. We hope you feel like your body's in a position where you, you didn't know, and you're all sweaty and whatever, <laughs> but, um, and you can, you can finally breathe when the, when the film is over, but we also hope it makes you feel like you want to call your mom. Yeah. yeah. I love that. <laughs> Call your mom, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Celine Held, Logan George, thank you both so much for your time. I appreciate it. Again, like I said, I can't wait to see what you're going to do next. But let me encourage everybody, since they haven't seen it like I've seen it, check out Kadao Lake uh, when it arrives on October 10th on Max. I'm Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World. Thank Thanks you, guys. So thank you. Appreciate yeah. you guys. Yeah. Have you. a great one. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, y'all. hit record We're awesome good. but here's celine and george george excellent Logan. so i don't need to record on mine you're going to send me the the footage yes all good. awesome all right well thank you alejandra hello celine hello logan it's a pleasure to chat with you both nice so to meet you. Talk to you awesome so i'm going to kind of send to help me real quick with my edit because i'm putting the trailer right in front okay sure all right cool. let's let's have some fun here we go <laughs> in a one two three